Welcome back. Today I'm going to show a nice feature that Solid Edge has for assembly and the reuse of parts in between assemblies. So I'm in here with this uh, assembly that has a combination of a screw and two nuts. And I need this exact combination on another assembly. So I did the selection on the model three of the parts, then uh, go to the home uh, ribbon tab and click on copy. That simple. Now jump into the other assembly where I need those uh, hardwares, hard hardware uh, in place, and then just click paste. The software automatically opens a dialog box, shows me. Um, the, the set of the parts that I'm doing the copy and automatically it starts the the mate uh, command. So as, I, as you can see here at the left, we have the list of the parts and it starts by this one that is highlighted now. So I can see it in here, this uh, dark green color. Now it is asking me for select the part of the reference. So I will pick on the part and then select the face that uh, makes the, the mate and right click. Now, uh, as you can see, it is right now in um, another color because it, that was the only mate that was defined in the other one. So it is finished, but now it is waiting on the other uh, parts on the nuts. So really quickly, select the part, select the face, right click. Now it is asking for the axis, same method, select the part, select the cylindrical face, right click. All right, so next one, same thing. So asking for the mate, this here, right click, and now the axis. Fairly simple, that's it. So the parts are there with the mates in position. So since this is almost the, the, the same part, uh, but well, they are different models, but they are following the same um, concept. So it was very easy to reuse this and I didn't want to look for the parts and insert them and then add the different mates uh, step by step. One extra thing that I love from uh, Solid Edge is the way how patterns happens. So I did the mounting in, in this one, but uh, let me uh, enter to modify this one. So I'm on edit, this edit in this part, and look at this pattern. I place the set of hardware on a different hole that is not the first one of the pattern, let's say the, 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 the pat, the, the parent of the pattern. <laughs> so check this out. When I do patterns, I select, of course, the parts that are involved, then right click. And now I select the part that contains the pattern that I want to, to refer to. And, uh, the following thing is to select the pattern, the one of the, um, features of the pattern, but I cannot select, for example, this one, but if I select one of these other ones and then just, um, after selecting what I need to do is to give the reference position. So it is the position where the, um, the hardware is in place. So for example, in this one, and it automatically identifies that that's the pattern that, or the positions that he needs to um, to use for the placement of the hardware. So it is it is cool because in other software you will have to mount the hardware right at the position of the correct pa pattern of the pattern, right? So um, there you have it. It's pretty quick and easy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, uh, please uh, hit like and subscribe. Have a nice one. Cheers.